Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, ha, this is Chase to Eat. Remember this? I'm at the Crafted Palette here in downtown Reno. Haven't been here in quite a while. Feels like home, kinda. Anyway, I came by, I thought I would do a quick review. Um, Gail is so kind, she allowed me to, to make a video. Saw my friend Don, got lucky when I came in here, saw some people I know. Very cool. But, I thought I would do a quick review today. Before I do, just like we always used to do, I'm gonna highlight a really cool painting. This is Matisse Cat, I believe the title is. And this is Karen Hayes. Really cool painting. If you're new to the channel or you just kind of check that, uh, new to it, I, when I lived in Reno, I shoot a lot of videos in this coffee shop. And what I would do is I would showcase a lot of the local painters. Uh, this, it's a paint, paint uh, what do they call it? The paint and ship or something? Yeah. But they would do paint classes here. So I would showcase a lot of their, their uh, local talent. Anyway, it's really cool to be back, and Gail is really cool. I'm going to try to get Gail in here to say hi real quick while the video is going on. We'll see. But what I'm going to review is a mainstream sauce. You guys all know Frank's Red Hot, right? Well, Frank's Red Hot is kind of a cool sauce. Pretty much a mainstay. It's a, uh, it's a gateway sauce. A lot of people, it's the sauce that gets them into hot sauces. Um, it's not a very hot sauce, and I've reviewed Frank's in the past. I like it. I'm not a sauce snob. Sometimes people, when they start getting into exotic sauces, they'll look down their nose at sauces like this, and I don't. This, however, is their extra hot version. I'm going to kind of give it a hard time right off the bat because the hottest pepper, the pepper in it is cayenne, and there's no such thing as an extra hot cayenne. So, I already have a bit of a problem with the name of it. However, I'm going to try to be as open-minded as I can be. As long as it's a little bit hotter than the last one, I suppose I'll be pretty good about it. Anyway, you guys remember here, I'm not going to be tainting my sauce. I'll be using my Chase Eat hot sauce spoon. Let me read this to you here, you guys. Great success story, Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red, I started the sauce, milk sauce company a long, long time ago. It was purchased in a buyout uh, from McCormick Foods years ago. Picked up a couple companies, $4 billion. Frank had a good day. Get over here. Got a friend of mine here. You guys remember her? It's Gail. Hi. What's going on? Gail was so kind. I came in, I said, it's really funny. I didn't let her know I was coming in. I kind of went back and she went, no way. And then when I asked her, I said, do you think I could maybe make a video? She's like, oh, let's see. <laughs> How have you been? Good. How's the shop? Looks busy. Uh, yeah, I heard good things. Getting, I heard it's really doing busy. well. Yeah. We're, we're actually looking into distributing the hand pies, I guess. People want to buy those off the shelf somewhere, so. Guys, if you're local, if you're that. local, best hand pies. First of all, I think maybe the only hand pies? I think so. Here's the, the thing. thing. I've been all over the world, and I've had hand pies in London, New Zealand, Australia. These are some of the best hand pies you're going to have anywhere. Do you still have the Wellington? Mm-hmm. Oh. The Wellington. It's definitely still a favorite. Is it really? Yeah. The Wellington is like, you guys know what Beef Wellington is? It's like, that's where they got the name. It's a, the Wellington is a ham pie, but it's just like a miniature Beef Wellington. And it is like, it's so good you want to spit the first mouth piece out, mouth just to get more in. It's so <laughs> delicious. Matter of fact, you know what? I think I want one to go. I can work that out. I do, but you aren't <laughs> going to give it to me. I want to pay for it. I know how you are. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, if you guys are in the area, please do me a favor. Come down and say hi to Gail. Great coffee, great painting, great paint classes, great food. But you got Gail here. And Kristen's still here, too. Though. She is, yeah. Yeah. We won't talk about Kristen. I'm go back. Get All right, back listen, more. thank you so much for coming and <laughs> saying hi. All right, guys, so we're going to review this real quick. Let me give you the ingredients on this. Yeah, it's, okay. uh, again, it's extra hot are you up? aged cayenne. It is what it is. I'm not going to give them too much of a hard time. What they should have said is hotter Franks, not extra hot, but it is what it is. Aged cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, natural flavoring, garlic powder. So that's what we're working with here. It's going to have a built-in flow restrictor in top, on top. You know, I'm not a fan of flow restrictors. I don't like anything that's going to slow down how fast I use a sauce. But if you're going to have a flow restrictor, this is the way you should do it. That's the way you ought to do it. Anyway. Let's give this a shot. Let me do the aroma test here first, people. Oops. We'll let that go. Actually, Don, my friend Don here is going to hook me up. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so it smells virtually the same as the regular Franks. It really does. Um, and I like Franks. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a snob. I like Franks. So more than like it, I'm going to like this. I just wish they had. Label it differently. All right, here we go. Here's the pour, people. 
got a great consistency that you typically, you always know this is how Frank's is. One drop at a time. You know what? I'm going to do away with the top. I don't have the patience for that. Hang with me for just a second, guys. All right. And this brings back memories. I haven't made a video in this place in a long time. All right, so here we go. Whoops. Ah, ah, ah. All right, I'll clean that up. All right, guys. So this is from Frank's Red Hot. This is their extra hot uh, cayenne pepper sauce. I'm here at the Crafted Palette, you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is JC. Won't be needing a spoon anymore, people. All right. It tastes great. It's just, it's Frank's. It's Frank's Red Hot with a K. That's it. Here's the good news, and I'll give them kudos for this. There's no way you taste this and not know that it's a step up from the original. Fact. So that's good. Um... And I suppose if you've never ever, if you gave this to like a three-year-old, they might say, wow, that's really hot. But it's just not extra hot. And that's okay. I'm not trying to split hairs here. It's a decent sauce. So you get, give it a shot, you guys. This is a sauce that's very versatile. You can put on just about anything as their commercials go. But it's great on uh, eggs, breakfast, anything breakfast. It's really, really good on. And it's got good flavor. It does. I'm not going to lie. Now... If they made a Frank's Red Hot, maybe someday we'll see this. In fact, not that I'm going to predict the future, you're probably going to see at some point a Frank's Red Hot Habanero. You might see a Frank's Red Hot Ghost even. Kind of doubt you'll ever see a Frank's Red Hot Reaper. However, when they start getting into the upper levels, that extra hot label will make more sense to me. I'll kind of take it as it is. Good sauce, though. If you guys have tried this sauce, then do me a favor and go to the comment section and say so. Let me know. If you think I'm being hard on them about the, the label, it's okay. I can take it. I got thick skin. Let me know. Um, but, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in. It's really cool to be back here in the Crafted Palette in downtown Reno. Thought about doing one by, in the zoo. I got a lot of people said, man, you got to shoot one in the zoo. If you guys are new to the channel, the zoo, Wingfield Park is right over there. I shot some videos over there. There's one where there's gunfire. I'm not joking. There's some really sketchy, dodgy things happen in the zoo. I actually did some uh, late night snack videos, like two or three o'clock in the morning in the heart of the park, which really was fun, but in retrospect, probably not the wisest move. But people have said I need to go back and shoot a, 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 you know, a video in the zoo. And I might do that, but it's really cold right now. I didn't dress appropriately, so it is what it is. Anyway, we're going to wrap this thing up. i got a coffee I'm going to drink. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, so much for tuning in and hanging out. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I should... You know what I'm going to do in the playlist? I'm going to make a playlist of all the Crafted Palette videos. There are hundreds of them. But go check them out. There's a lot more uh, paintings like that. Hope you guys are great. I really appreciate it. Gail, thanks again! Maybe she's not back there still. Anyway, guys, there's our pepper. Click that pepper. When you do, you become part of the family. If you don't want to miss a video, very simply, just click the bell for notification. You'll see a drop box. When that appears, hit all, and you'll miss nothing. Right there is League of Fire. Um, we're doing a, a group run at the League of Fire with the Scoville Squad on the last day of the month. So if you haven't got your Tube of Terror, you're running out of time to do so. Um, but join in. It'll be on Zoom. We'll have more information about that as it comes closer. More videos there. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.